Right, Ngozi Falani, uh, Marlene Headley, whatever it is uh, that you refer to this lady as. Remember her? Uh, she was the person that got, uh, she put a complaint in, didn't she? She was invited to uh, an, an event uh, and then made a complaint because, get this everyone, trigger warning. Uh, so if you're easily offended, uh, press mute now. But guess what? She was asked, and it is offensive, I do warn you, she was asked where she was from. <sighs> I think I can carry on. Right. She was asked where she was from, and then it proceeded, where is she really from? And I think we all know the story, don't we? She said the name of the organisation. Uh, then she said which kind of place, town, and it went on and on. There was a huge outcry. She then went into Buckingham Palace. She had a sit-down with the uh, lady-in-waiting in question. Uh, there was a nice little photo shoot. There was a statement issue. On you go. But no. Uh, and Gersey has been back in the press today saying that she's been absolutely abused all the rest of it to such a point she's having to temporarily uh, step back as the CEO of the charity and she's not happy with the apology she received. Well, it's pretty convenient that this has all happened because I saw a number of um, allegations about Sister Space's uh, financial arrangements Indeed. last year. So this, this has all emerged at a very good time if you uh, were facing those things. The best thing to have happen, the best thing to be able to do is to have a race row that means that, that people won't focus on the things that they were previously talking about uh, your organisation. I, I can't remember if it was Muhammad Ali or Mike Tyson who said, it's hard for my opponent to hit me if my fist's in his face. Uh, and um, on it, so she's really gone on the front foot and whether it's um, you know just a representative of the state who is the convenient person to to serve as the patsy in this or, or whether specifically having the Buckingham Palace imprimatur was so useful there's no um, doubt in my mind that it, it, this this lady in waiting was a highly useful person at just the right time mm. indeed sure well I'm not entirely sure what she's asking for because at the time, Lady Susan Hussey, who is in her 80s and who'd worked for the Royal Household for many, many years, who probably should not have pushed it. And, you know, it is one of the, the rules of good breeding that actually the last thing you do is to embarrass somebody. And I think certainly touching somebody's hair and moving it to look at their name badge, which is alleged, is silly. But, there were, you know, she left immediately. There was a fulsome apology at the time. There was a meeting between the two of them, where a joint statement was agreed yeah. um, and that it had been filled with warmth and understanding and that she had, and uh, Ms. Fulani had accepted Lady Susan's apology. So what, I'm not entirely sure why she's bringing it well, up I, right I, I've now got, I've got a few, to ask now. I've got a few suspicions as to why... Well, you, 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 want to keep this, you want to keep the story alive, don't you? But if you recall at the time that this broke, the transcript of their conversation was, was like a court transcript. It was so specific and precise. One wonders if it was recorded. It was all on. And you say, by the way, that when you've got good breeding, you're taught not to embarrass people. The, this whole thing don't wash with me um, because uh, Ngozi Flani turned up to an event uh, and nothing wrong with this, fair enough. She was very proud of her heritage, very proud of her uh, cultural origins, whatever the word is. She visually made herself stand out in a nod to her heritage. And if you make yourself visually stand out and then someone comes over to you, literally whose job it is to ascertain who people are in the room so they can feed that information, back so that you get a nice warm welcome yes. and you cannot be surprised when that she was person full, asks you she was about in full your tribal, she was yes. in full tribal dress imagine if a Scotsman had gone to a reception in, in, uh, in Africa wearing a kilt uh, and quite naturally someone, and who, someone who didn't recognise it would say where are you from? And by the way, if it's such an yes, awful thing... Yes, but if you thing, get a pushback, if, you know, if for whatever reason, and none of oh, us... Oh, she should have known better, I agree. None of us was there. A pushback if, or someone just being a bit... Well, what? whatever. I think, you know, Lady Susan Hussey apparently carried on asking the questions, but as I say, none of us were there. I just think it's, it, it's bonkers. Well, it didn't wash with me, that's for sure. No, it didn't at the time, it certainly doesn't does now. If asking about your heritage is so insulting and offending, why, on her own website, by the way, uh, on the, she has four lines on her About Us page, every single one referenced heritage, because obviously you will remember that hair charity only exclusively supports people from an African and Caribbean heritage. Hmm, I'll leave you to ponder that.